Hey, KZ. Um, it, it seemed like today you were, you know, using a more feature role with, you know, some of the guys. Uh, how do you think that kind of helped you uh, get going offensively today? Uh, no, I, I think I just, uh, we got after it today. Um, uh, obviously, I, I knocked down my first shot, had a better rhythm, and it just was was working after the games that I had played. So it just worked out today. This summer, I mean, it's not, it has only just been summer league. It is your first summer league experience, but you obviously got the experience in, in Tokyo with the Nigerian national team. Just kind of how productive do you feel like this summer has been for you and, and kind of what have been your takeaways from like the past month, two, one to two months? Uh, I'll say the biggest takeaway I'd have to, I, I'd have from the summer was uh, the durability of my body. Uh, just that as soon as season ended, I took like three days off, but I've been hooping every day since. Uh, so I think that's the biggest takeaway. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Izzy. All right, up next, we have Ira Winderman, Sun Sentinel. Go ahead. Hey, Z, we always hear the term of a three and D player. We know you have the D. We've seen it for two years when you've had a chance to play. But how important do you think it is to show a consistent three-point threat to sort of be able to be the floor spacer, knowing you have Bam, you have Jimmy, and other guys who want to get to the paint, who want an open lane? Uh, I think it's just confidence, you know what I mean? confidence when I step into my shot. Uh, so being mentally locked in and just putting the reps in, keep working. I know I'm going to, uh, when I get out of here, I'm going to be working double overtime. So, so it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. I know you don't get many chances to be a leading man. You had a little bit of a chance there with the Nigerian national team today. I not only had the chance, but you hit the go ahead three with a minute to go. How nice is it to go back to those days when you were even before college and maybe in school a little to get a chance to be someone who's a featured player, even for just summer league, to sort of experience that? Uh, I mean, I think today I was really working uh, through the system. You know what I mean? Obviously, a, a lot of our scores were out, so um, everybody gets more shots. So it's just a matter of knocking them down. But uh, featured, uh, I, I wouldn't really say so. But I think just obviously playing more minutes and uh, less shot takers out there. So, you know, obviously I'm going to get more shots. So, yeah. And then just summing up the whole experience, um, the young kids, you were one of them once. What's it like to see young, hungry kids come in and play so hard as so many of the guys did, whether it was Micah today or Tyson or, or Dijon and what they did? What's it like to sort of see the hungry side of the NBA and how hard these guys have worked for 17 days? Uh, man, it, it's big time. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm right there with them, I'm hungry, uh, working hard, but. <laughs> Everybody, everybody in the locker room wants to win, and that's and that's the only thing you can ask for. Uh, they, they may not be doing the right things all the time, but everybody wants to win, so uh, you can grow from there.